was a lot of fun. And yeah. uh, let's get into it, shall we? OG heading towards B. Well, oh, not for long. Dead off, and Frozen's kicked it off with two headshots of his own. Wow. Woxic has a deagle on the pistol, Henry, so that kind of is going to tell you the direction we're going here today. And uh, MBK and Issa, they're the last two men standing up in the B apartments. They do have a USP to work with, uh, a low HP MBK in the mix here, and it's a one on three situation now, so it's very unlikely. Yeah, it is extremely unlikely, if you don't mind me saying, as uh, Boxic with that Desert Eagle. Now, Chad, you don't see many of those on the pistol rack. Smoke down towards Connector, M4 still looking healthy, and Valder. He's checking out CT spawn. Great shot from Chris J, and Rops will answer back and be dropped. Yeah, Mantu's been able to pick up that M4. Here, there's no bomb being spotted, and luckily he arrives just in the nick of time. Obviously, LXCB doesn't have the information, but now, and to the Chris J with 30 seconds, a couple of kills and denying the plant, that would be enough. Carrigan will pull one back. That's towards it, that's IQ to go. Chris J knows he's need to deny the plant here. It should be enough. I still say he's going to win this round. If he gets this kill, that's going to be the one. And surely there'll be no chance here. One versus one, 15 seconds, man two. The young gun, he oh. gets the information as to where Carrigan is, but this is a mind game now. Flashbang delivered, no bombs to be planted, and Carrigan, he's being swarmed and taken down. It's a full eco victory, and OG. Longer line, the OG uh, forming into the B bomb site, led by MBK, can strike. Alexi B doing his uh, absolute best to sell this Ooh. mid fake on his own, and that's it. B's open, these deagles and scouts aren't going to do a lot, are they? Yeah, Frozen normally would devour that sort of kill, but uh, I guess it doesn't really matter either way. They weren't going to win the round, unfortunately, for them. It's going to be a five on one Rops. That's more like it. They'll get the one dude, but unfortunately. They're able to hold him down. This is fantastic from Mouse. It's a good yeah. crossfire. It's a really good crossfire. They need to hit the shot. So Chris J, good for two. He's been gifted a third as well. Great setup. As you mentioned, not the cleanest of shots, but still, this is looking really good for them. Frozen will confirm the round. Just Mansi remaining now. Three versus one. No chance of winning it due to the timer. He'll have to jump it towards window and try and and save the orb. He nails his jump. It's a very difficult one. Does hit his head on the roof. I think he goes down either ways. The basic smokes. If that, one flash will go over and they will pounce. Chris J, there's a single flash. Evan check the close range position. He gets the dink off, but not the second kill. A chance here now for OG as they can bust through. Force Woxic right back. The rotation still hasn't come on in. And that kill from Alexi B could be absolutely everything. That's going to cut off all the rotations from the CTs. Frozen. He has to deal with him, he will. Oh, that jump, the leap of faith from Mantu. The sniper rifle here as the bomb ticks away. This is a real huge frag and there's no time to check every position. Frozen will be taken out. Foxing now needs an early pick, but they're not giving anything away here. Might be better off saving. That's a good shot. That's probably going to persuade them to go for this one now as they start to get closer and closer. Time is ticking away. It's at the point of no return right here, but this is looking That's good. Disgusting. The smoke going down, though. I think they can do this still. With the smoke down and this kill, there's a chance if he doesn't find it, he gets to defuse the bomb here. Rob's! No. Doesn't quite get oh. it, but still it was close. I'm not sure what it came down to in terms of seconds there, but I think in here doesn't quite make the bolt up, but he nails the shot regardless. Carrigan will be removed. You gotta save this one. He is surely can't be going for this. The Chris J does find an opener. He's low HP, but do they still fancy it? Towards CD spawn, frozen has to be the difference maker here. They don't have a kit chat, but still they're making something of this one. Still going for it. Finding the AK-47. They don't have the smoke, and now they do, and another kill comes through. Do they want to go for it? Without the kit, it doesn't look likely. The smoke's going down. They're gonna have to go for it now. And they don't have the time, that's the problem. That's why we're saying that... ...can at least be in striking distance for this. I think Mouse Spots are hungry for it. You can see they want to fight. Woxic pushing forward. Now he's trapped. He has to go for this. Chris J's found Alexi B. That's just MBK with an MP5. Don't see many of those. He's able to get it to work in range. There's no way, Nathan. That's not allowed. That's and Volder beautiful. finishes off Chris. That's I like six it. on the board for OG. ...from now for 20 seconds does Chris commit. He's dead. But now they're going to have to go. They know the A ramp should be open at this stage, but Voxic... Oof, this could be deadly. So what is that flash that lands on top of the roof? And the first kill is fantastic for Voxic. The second, not so much. Bomb goes down, and that should be the round. We'll see if a Frozen can pull it one back. AFC could do this one. Valda struggling now with eight seconds remaining. That's the bomb oh, the in a down. compromised position, and that should be it. Four seconds. He can't plant it to one versus one. And Carrigan, he won't have to find any kills this round, but still, he will win out. It's going to be the third for Mouse Sports. It's a five-man B setup. Flash is going in. It's normally Carrigan on this side of the map, so we'll see if he can step up. He takes a flash to the face, the Mac tends are close, and down he goes. One of the players got the helmets there, and this is looking very good for OG. Wait, Woxic's still close with the AWP? What's going Surely on here? Long. Surely not for long. Yeah, there he is. Taken out, and oh. that's going to be a lovely play. The Mac tends and Carrigan having that difficult game. He's two and nine. Like execute, you have to be able to condition your opponent. But OG, they don't always have to throw the mid-contact smokes, right? That's something that they're only doing sometimes.
Alexi B takes a bite, and for now, Chris J. Molotov coming here. It might not reach him, I suppose, but there it is. He goes down. Alexi B will follow suit, and we have one more player towards A. That's going to be poor on Frozen. Stuck in the corner towards Jungle. He will find Valda, but surely the bomb goes down. Four on two. I don't see a world where Mouse Sports can really do much more than a couple of kills there. Yeah, they should get mopped up here without too much to say about this. And there's the first Alexi B onto his counterpart. Carrigan, the in-game leader in Mouse Sports, falls. Frozen, kind of padding the stats there the best he can but he's going to drop on out and that's going to be the nine the phase five versus four and a bit of a weird start to the round but now sports are in the driving seat with another thing delivered but no kills found just yet they really are focusing towards oh, he's spawn okay. should be a couple of kills available to them but why are the frags not coming through yet there's so much damage no and i think that should be enough even though mbk's picked up those it's just a shot into the toe from rops and woxic to the cts here and they're going to fall check this out as it's just woxic he's gonna one three he's gonna he do can it. do this with ease grabs the first the second two the times the problem them right now no diffuse no. get picked on up and there's not going to be any time there's no time i can't do it you're absolutely right it was looking like such uh did you see my, my Troy McClure reference the other day? Oh, I did. That was actually a lot of fun. There's Valda, and he's trying to have some himself. The CZ does do a lot of damage for Mouseboard running with the round. This could still be interesting, though. MPK towards short is the MP9. Pound for pound, one of the strongest guns in the game. It's brought a bit of space here. The nades are in the hand, and Robs, he'll pull one back. There's so much damage has been inflicted here. Both CTs ready and waiting towards oh. the B side of the map. But Mantu, he's snuck through. He's got the bomb here. <laughs> and it's down to just Issa. For mass available and a low HP rocks in front of them, but it won't be quite enough there. Good force by exciting rounds in front of them, Chad. This could be a difficult one, but a nice flashbang has been deployed. A perfect flashbang, if you ask me. And XCB on for a double kill here. Delivers on all fronts. He might be taken down. Just about gets himself in towards safety. A four versus two. And XCB, if he gets one more kill, call it done. Carrigan trying to fuss him out here. Just trying to buy time for the rotations. That's the reason. Mantu can deny the plant. Bomb goes down. And just the in-game lead here remaining. There's nothing oh, he can yeah. do. Four players survive. OG, a very convincing waiting this time round. He will be spotted up. Volda and Issa, do they want to push? A Molotov Ooh, and a nade to follow. He's been pushed back. The bomb's dropped. They know the rotation needs to come in here, but there's chaos on the eight bombs. What's so happening? Volta, he's doing his best to slow them down. Ooh. Oh my two. goodness, Chad. That was absolutely crazy. Carrigan running through the smoke. Get the knife out and the orb from Voxing. It will connect. MBK. I, I, that's what I was about to say, but I don't think so. He's looking towards jungle. Oh, he has no man. idea. That's going to be it. Now he knows. He gets the kill regardless. Up against the orb. Oh. There was a chance. The concept oh. looked good. One of the problems here is, is Frozen even going to clear this? He's got an idea. Frozen knows exactly where Volda likes to play late. That is a fantastic clear. And now Mantu on the site. How can he get multiple kills? He's kind of pinned on down. He tags one up, but now he's been spotted and Frozen's done even more oh, work. That's Look more at like that. Right? I, I think you could... I, the problem is, I don't know... Four versus three. Mouse Sports continue that strong form here. Issa, he just about finds that frag here, but he's got so much pressure being applied towards the A side. Standing in the flames as well. Burning to a crisp down to 28 HP. They know exactly where he is. If he gets one, they'll be lucky to do so. Voxic, he'll remove him. This is the shot that decides the round. Two versus one, and Rob's taken out. OG somehow recovers. Start forcing the issue. Voxic knows he can take a couple of players out here. Good flank coming in for Chris. He's on the flashbang. He does hit him. Oh, my God, it's enough. Chad, I think they've done it. Is there even a kid in play? It doesn't matter. The bomb is defused, and OG will find map points. It is the full retake down. Oh, frozen. And now the P250. Alexi oh. B, what's happened there? And now Volder, he's in a compromised position. They've got full control of B. Yeah, he's in a lot of trouble, and Rops is over towards middle. He's just taken down Issa, so his position's given up. They're going to be able to deal with him, but that means they've had to give up the... Two, it's just the positioning of OG right now. It's been very difficult to make this one work. Voxing, one of the quickest oh! players in the game right now. That's the shot we were looking for. One versus one, MBK, the old master, up against Voxing here. It looks like he's done enough. There is a kill available, but MBK starts to creep forward, and it's the Glock. And no! it's enough! One what? bullet, and it connects the audacity of this man. One round away from taking us to overtime here. That's not the start they were looking for. Mantu and Issa yeah. open up their Ooh. accounts, but Woxic, the hero of last, gets two, and now that's applied a lot of pressure. Frozen takes down Alexi, robs onto Issa, and now all it is is MBK, one on three. No way. I've actually pulled it off. Mouse Sports with the reverse sweep, and there it is. I thought I got ahead of myself. Oh, and it's straight into the A set piece here, but OG are out of position. They need to scramble back. Mantu's done a good job of finding one in transition here, and more kills are happening, but Mouse Sports, they're open to the connector in jungle positions, and kills keep continuing to fall. It's just one man standing, and that's Woxic. He's been spotted. They know where he is, and that's the AWP of the big man Ting striking true. With 10 seconds remaining, surely he's done enough here. That one kill, that's all he has to get. The low HP, it's the bomb going down. Can they scramble the bomb? Oh. They're blocking each other. It will go down. They can still win this. They're going to let it go down. Chris, why haven't you peaked? And now it's a two versus two. The C4 has been planted. They've repositioned. They can give this round up.
Oh no, this could be a real problem. Woxic, he has to go huge. He has to take the Orpa out of the equation. He does, and now they know where Ether is. He finishes him off, and that is huge Damn. impact from Woxic there. 26. And, but he can find his party three frags. It could be enough. The Molotov the point. It's a pause on back. The Orp. It connects as well. We could be going to Surely double overtime. Not. And it looks like Robs, he will have his plate full here. Still in towards CT spawn with the AK-47. Mantu did find a very important kill. The AT delivered. And will this be it? OG looking for double overtime. The bomb to go down. Voxic, he'll find the shot. The Oh, Valda. Is the oh, flash enough? Oh! It's a perfect conversion, and there it is. Mouse Sports will win in overtime. What a comeback that was. Another fantastic game of CF. That's really far from ideal. Chris J will know it's a chance to get him the kill, oh, okay. and he makes sure that he connects all the dots. Yeah, things are looking very good for Mouse Sports here, and I think Rops, he's a bit of a predator right he now. Is, Takes down Volder, who was low on HP, and now it's just Issa who's left to deliver something special. He can't get it done. And Alexi B through the smoke will find Chris J with a little oh, squeaky door. Big. Damage receiver, Robs has snuck through, first kill is his, great movement, and now the pressure to be applied, it's going to be very difficult to contain him here, Chad. Yeah, great movement indeed, I love that move from Robs, it's great to see him bringing that on out here, as Topside has been completely overrun, and even with Issa in the hut right now, they don't even seem to be worried about his position. Oh, it is nullified at this point. Issa, if he maybe denies the plan there, it could have been something. He still could have some impact, but this kill might decide it. Valder now detected. They're, they'll be aware of the heart potential. Is it the sneak through and Foxy checks it? It was about that time, right? The fact that the T's are able to snowball like... Absolute flyer here on Nuke. They've already got a map under their belt. It's been a rough couple of weeks for them, I have to say. And this round is no different. Alexi B and Issa opening things up. Great shots of the M4, but significant... 0.6 of source because of the different bonuses. But MBK here, well, he'll be the first to fall. That's two more to find if you're mouse sports. That's the key to this round. Can they find anything else? An alt bullet will tag up Frozen, dissuading him from going out of the hut position. And Woxic as well. We'll be dipping on back. 40 seconds remain. There's still plenty of opportunities to find a couple of frags here, but OG, oh they're not overstepping the mark. They're playing off of each other. They're jiggle peeking well, and they're even doing damage through the vent as Alexi B will take down Woxic. Secret, the rotations are coming on in, but Mouse Sports, they look like they're in control of this one. Oh, that's a great effort from Voxic, but three kills have been found for OG here. They are starting to wake up. Four versus two, Carrigan and Chris J. Up towards the window, jumping up on towards the catwalk. Can he make the frag? No, he can't. Oh. That's Chris J with the orb. Can he do any no. more? Chris has got a second. It's a 1v1. Chris, that's that. the impact we're talking about. That's the impact we want to see. Back up and Robs is quick out here. We'll have to dwell on that later. He's actually getting through the flashback. Oh, it's Alexi B with just two bullets remaining. He nails the shot here, but still absolute pandemonium ensuing here. He'll get himself down in towards the vents. Find the AK-47. And we're round number eight. Six to one for Mouse Force here. OG will find themselves in a five versus three, but these rounds, they're not guaranteed by any stretch. This shot, oh, not quite connects, but very close to Mantu there, Frozen. Not known to be an all but we'll answer back though. What a shot. Goes back to the AK-47. Valda, good positioning. Chris Shea should be able to trade, which he will. They've got a chance again. They won the four on two before. Now it's a three versus one. The Flying Dutchman will have to delay. Okay. Well, they're not bad. It's the first fight right here against Issa. Up to 25. You think he's got two more in him? Yeah, I think he can do this. They've got just one kit. They haven't got a smoke. They're on the bomb now. They won't fully defuse this, surely. They're going for it. Lexi B feels like he's covered. If his oh, first kill comes in, oh, wow. Good effort from Chris J. Bomb goes down. These have to clear out all the angles. If you're going to play the C4, you're going to play it this tightly. Of course, they're going to be clearing all these angles Ooh! and hitting shots like this. Wow, here we go again. Another impossible scenario being turned around here. It's a rescue mission of the C4. They picked it up and making their way towards a ramp room. That is absolutely astonishing. Have some fights, have some duels. See what you can get done here. Because you're getting picked off when you're trying to play fundamental CS. Oh, what was that? I don't know. I, I just I try to work out in my own brain how that's even a shot that connected, but I, I'll take it. There's still a kill here to be available with the USP. Okay. Whatever's happening today in Counter Strike, let's have some more of it. Absolutely fantastic stuff. The timing couldn't be better for MBK. He closes things out. A mental round again. About that, but let's get into the action, shall we? It is the upper push. Alex TB finds the first. The Venn died? Yeah, they're planning lower successful. already. Actually, actually, I've got a chance here. We're going to see if that smoke can go down. It certainly does. Valdo will fire off some shots oh. and get the kill. He denies the plant and surely the round here. Boxy will pull one back. Three versus two. Not again, Henry. I can see this happening happen, again. Yeah. Not again. The pieces are all starting to align. Valdo actually done a very good job here. He's a bit of a nuke specialist. He's got down towards lower. I'm a bit worried now. That's a huge kill. Oh. With one minute 15. He's got some kneecaps. It's actually happening. Man two with the orb. And he is actually giving his position up as well. He's throwing that smoke. Luckily, the bomb's still oh. down. He's made his noise a lot of it. Oh my goodness, Chad. He hits the shot. But he's... <laughs> what is happening? What, what is happening? 
Here we go then, Desert Eagle in the back, it might not even be required here, but certainly going to be influential, Issa providing a lot of damage in the back, he only gets himself a single kill, but this surely doesn't fall apart now, it's looking good, Voxic, 3 versus 1, won't deliver, but still 8 rounds on the board from, from Alexi B throwing those nades, and Issa's on the flank through main here, so all the action's about to go on on top side, Kagan will find the opening, but MBK gets one in exchange, and top side's open now. Yeah, it absolutely is. MBK gets the second. Chris the CZ, not the best weapon with the job. USB would have been fantastic there. Would have had the precision required. Four versus two. Swats the head of one. Rops through the smoke. MBK surely guarantees the pistol air, but there's Frozen. We know he can win these. A three versus one. Bomb goes down. Spots another. Looking for a quick kill. Manson's low as well, but does find the all-important kill. Smoke of his own towards Squeaky, but he has to be careful. Alexi B's waiting, and the nutmeg coming on through. Alexi B will use the smoke to his advantage, get the kill. Frozen will trade, but now the pressure's on the top side. These SMGs are pushing in. Here we go. Boxing needs at least one here, and he finds the all-important kill. The bomb goes down, finds himself a second, but he won't be good for a third. Surely the flashbang will cause a swing, and Mantu. He'll find a two versus one. Rob's though, towards heaven. So many angles to clear here, and they're well aware that he could still be coming for this. They haven't left the bomb. He's heard one sound cue. He gets the kill, but lack of kit here. He's going to be picking he's up. It. He's got the kit. There's just no chance. There's no time. He had to get on it now, and now he just has to run away. MBK's in the hut. Rops is lucky if he can skedaddle out of this one, as he will hightail it out of main. Gonna survive and take down MBK in the end of things here. So that's great. Rops gets all the kills, but uh, still leaving them with a difficult round here. As we go for an upper push, I don't like it. The CZ, so they get the first. This should be that the damage is done. Carrigan, he will certainly dish out a lot of it. Look at the HP. It's a two. Alexi B3. Shay can find the timing here. The flash is delivered. In he goes. Doesn't do much, and, and frozen with the M4. A, a sliver of a chance here. This kill is delivered. They can still do this. So low HP, two versus one, Issa. They won't be checking towards this spot. And now, yep, here comes the Molotov. You're absolutely dead on. And as long as it lands... Oh, wait! Oh, no! He no! was low! He was low! It was one second! Oh, they have... frozen! Oh, that was everything! It looked so close. I didn't think there was a chance for the Molotov. It does save the day, but it was less than a second oh. on the DPs there. Bullet was taken down, but he's only got one in the clip. Goes to the reload. Chris J is going to nail at least one of these. And now he is under scrutiny. He's going to be taken down here. Great pounce from OG. It's up to Mansu to recover the AWP and Fox it. He hits a shot. Oh. He's right back into it, but no helmet. The Mac 10, it completely dinks him. And you can see the aim punch now really affecting Voxic. OG have got control once again. Carrigan's doing something wild here, I can see it. He takes the bomb down, but he might even push for more. Carrigan's a madman. The Mac-10 close, MBK's taken out. That's the danger man dealt with here because Mantu, low with the AWP, gets finished off by Frozen. They could pick up the double orb setup once again if they would like. We'll see whether he oh, he's pushing. Here. Oh, this is crazy. Carrigan going forward when you'd expect him to be going back. All the angry T's on the other side. He's got two kills. His impact in this round has yeah. been huge. Absolutely. It's still a very difficult round. You might think, oh, they've only got pistols, but this is OG. Very skilled players in their ranks, and CSGO has proven to be a very difficult round to pick up. He's on for the ace here, Chad. Doesn't quite deliver, but short certainly padded his stats. That's going to bring him right back into uh, double digits, I believe. He's actually hey, there's a world that they win this round. I think I might have to be on something. Uh, they're going to get slaughtered here at Squeaky. So so I guess the, one of the cool things that's been happening with a lot of these chaotic rounds, not the pistol low buy rounds, but the gun rounds, is... Up now, the AK-47s, as I mentioned. All big grenade damage as well. Frozen, normally good to line them up here. Got nothing done at all. Mouse Three dead already? Completely roll over. It's the outside approach for OG that's worked fantastically well. Damage being inflicted towards Vostek as well. He's taken so many bullets and Robs will pull one back. There is a chance he gets a couple of kills, but with no utility. Over the opening kill, that's about it. They're going for it again fast and frozen. Has he heard anything? Apparently not. He's firing off bullets towards Squeaky Door. Iss is already there at main entrance. Carrigan, he'll do what he can here, but there's so much to do. He's trying to fight them off and it's still not quite enough. Three versus one. Robs, he'll have... Can win in regulation. Or Who knows, I, 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 don't I, know. I, I feel like with the save them for being down, OG have enough tools to work with here. It's going to be another massive kill for Valda. Molotov available. That should be enough. The orb towards Decon, it doesn't look good whatsoever. And they'll try and get these shots working, but the time just isn't there for Mouse Sports. Sure, they're getting kills back. They're trading out, but a two on two. It should be done at this point. The third map should be locked in as Mantu confirms it. Foxic, nothing can be done. Just a consolation frag available. He'll hit it, but there's just no time. He knows oh. it. We know it. And that's going to be it. OG have brought this game back from the dead, Chad. Four rounds on their CT side. It didn't look like it was nearly enough, but there.
Unfortunately, Henry, I've uh, messed up the camera again. Oh, so you've got to do it again, have you? Well, here we go. Three kills coming in for the boys. OG will be shutting down that push, and uh, <laughs> we will see. The maps like Inferno, like Liquid been doing a lot of this, fighting top mid, fighting. We'll stall them out, but he has the UMP. Has to make sure he can get something done, and he's going to harass with a bit of damage. Carrigan will take one. The CZ comes out, unable to find more, but the rotation's good. It is looking good here, Chad. Carrigan worth his weight in gold there. High impact for sure. Frozen left of this one point of help, but a shot from Chris J. That's beautiful. He does manage to do a little bit of damage towards Manta as well, oh! but that's a good position. Voxic, I thought he had a chance there. Doesn't work out for him. Back down to the two versus two. OG looking to find a 2 0 conversion. Remember, now turn it to 3 0 as well. Okay. Frozen, that's straight up through the smoke towards a bomb side. That's actually wild. 5 7, the snapping turtle. It's delivering on all fronts, but finally, dear, as to where Manta's position. He's towards second oranges. And he had to, did he have two bullets left? He went for a reload. First contact for Mouse Sports here. I guess it's the individual up and on the site, and Rops peels on out. The two kills drop. Chris Drake grabs two of his own with the Deagle right there. Maybe it is going to pay off, but now they're left in a two-on-three situation. The now, I, I dare say they go for it. The AK, I think, is just too valuable going forward. And there it is. The round falls apart. So they'll have nothing uh, now. I'm sorry, it's Chris J. And he has that silenced M4. He's up and he's over. Look at this. Chris J from above. He gets two. That sets Woxic up on the site here. Deagle in hand. Has two to find. Can hear all the footsteps. Steps on out. That's a one. Yeah. Finishes them both. And Woxic gets it done. The food's arrived. Everybody's yeah. having a great bloody time. <laughs> Set up here. Frozen will use the sandbag to jump up. And he's got a lot of vision. What a beautiful maneuver there from Mouse Sports. That was perfect stuff right there, as Frozen might get a couple more here. The cavalry's even arrived, and Chris J and that Deagle, well, they're on the scene. They know that Frozen's here, but the damage has already been done. Frozen able to deal with MBK, the pressure coming. Is there a flash? Yes, there is. Rops has lobbed it on out. Good stuff. It's a three versus one, and that's going to be the kill. There was, there was a whole thing. There's a whole thing. We'll get into it. The rush towards middle. Voxic with a big, big spray down there. That's what you like to see. And now, oh, it's the ace as well. I got back just in time. Defend the balcony position. Oh, the timing on this smoke is everything. Rops using the uh, smoke fade to his advantage will take down Issa here, but was it enough as two trades go down towards top middle here? The MP7 has to win this fight. That is perfect for an MP7, and Chris J can't make it work. MBK will take him out, and now all the pressure on Rops here over towards the castle position, Molotov towards Pit. It's only a matter of seconds until they deal with him, or he has to peek, and now he's shortly been spotted. Grabs one out of the midair, gets taken down by Volda, and now frozen in a one on two situation. Then towards the corner. He's got so much to do now. If he gets a quick kill and hits him towards Graveyard, but still, nothing can be done. Fully booted. They're playing this one safe. And that's the opening. So that's one. They're just contacting our halls. Rops will trade. This is looking good. Can he get another? No. Well, it's looking like another very interesting round here. Three versus two. A chance of Valder to actually around this can win. Even if he gets his kill, it's enough information to win. And there it is. There's the frag. Nice work from Carrigan there. A lot of pressure on that A bomb site because there's three players still over to watch B for Mouse. But never mind. Woxic takes one. Can he get more? Pushes in close. He's done more than enough. Yeah, this is where he thrives. So with that quad position, close range, he normally finds multiple frags. And that's exactly what they're doing. So this is a smoke. Sent from the heavens. Could it be enough to actually convert this oh, round from no the smoke? Way. It's all coming together! Four versus two once again. This time in favor of OG. Robs can save the day, though. One bullet on either side will be enough. <laughs> and Mantu <laughs> converts to four versus two. Apart four on twos, everything that could have gone wrong did. And they've still got the presence of mind now to fight back and give him an equal treatment. But Foxic aggressive here. It's absolutely... Absolute pandemonium oh, in today's Counter-Strike as Carrigan gets two with the CZ, four versus two, Frozen, Carrigan falling back, but of course there's always a chance apparently these rounds can work out of Mantu, he knows it, starts to wedge his way towards the bombsite, a flick up towards the first orange's position works out for him, Carrigan's there towards CT spawn and he's very low, taken out, has he got the bomb? No. But he could be in that position, he'll certainly check it, but he's got a bit of a window here, oh. Chris J takes him down, but... It's been a chaotic day of Counter-Strike, and I feel like I can continue here. It's frozen. He's melting in the flames there. MBK and Alex TP find the first two frags, but oh. will they suspect the fly and the ointment? Chris J can save the day. <laughs> He's gone for the first, but the flashbang catches him here. He's got to fight for his life. His teammates will pull back a couple of kills. The bomb hasn't gone down. This is absolutely crazy. He's still there, taking no damage. He's got himself another kill. Chris J with a high impact once again, Chad. He might have done enough after losing the first two picks. They give up nothing more. 7-5, Mouse Sports. Oh. Oh dear, Oxic now, he's gonna get away, but that information's been given on up. Look at MBK go, he's pooped wow. on out. He got three and a half kills <laughs> right there, and there's survived. the chicken. He made there it! Is. How did he survive that interaction? The MVP of the round, uh, the chicken. friendly chicken. The friendly the chicken.
Remember him? What a guy he was. Voxic, pulling one back. That was two eggs, right? Oh no, there was a guy who used to join the lobby. Is that who you're talking about? Yeah, exactly. Chicken, yeah. chicken. Yeah, but can they stop the plant? That's the question. It's a big question, Chad. It's getting right down to the wire now. 20 seconds remaining. About it, he snuck through with that MP9. He does get one. It's good. very complicated. The incendiary is absolutely spot on there, but one will still come through. Voxic punches in the digits towards first oranges. They know exactly where he is. They eradicate a lot of risk there. Good dink, but not quite enough to win the round. Mouse sports. Oh, I say that there is a massive gap. An absolutely huge one. Frozen could actually walk up and maybe have some vision. I don't know, but the flashbang either way will enable them up. And Carrigan, he loves to send it. It's the MP9, the gun of choice, and now they can fully commit towards the A side. One player waiting. That's going to be Issa. Does he have anything to say about this one? He's got an AT grenade, Chad. He's in towards the apartments. That's a guaranteed kill. But surely he doesn't get more. Fro nice shot from Frozen. That was a great shot from I didn't think he had a charge. I no. say, he's actually going to miss this. Yeah, it was like he was stuck mid. How powerful the smokes are at locking out the choke points. Self, but they're going into B and it's quick. It's a very quick flash approach. And Mantu, well, with the MP9, that's the perfect weapon for the job. He'll get two. How do they write this? Yeah, well, there it is. It's going to be a couple of rifles found at this stage. Chris Gay with the Deagle on the other side. Chad, he had $3,200. Yeah, I saw it. That is back in the I saw there. it. Yeah, it is. Oof, I don't want to win the round because of that, but still, it's not ideal. E9 already got himself two kills in the boost position. Make it three, in fact. Easy shot for Issa. He'll convert. Big, big, big round for them to pick up there. Troll top. Yeah, that's, a, that's a reference from about that's, four years ago. That's great. I like that a lot. And uh, either way, Alexi B will be opening things up. Like we said, a huge round here. The Desert Eagle of Frozen yet to make its presence known. That's towards B. Sitting in the smoke right now. We've talked about these nutmeg plays. The flashbang is great, but it's not quite enough. This Valda from First Oranges does strike back, and that's enough to send them packing, I think. 15 seconds. They've got no choice. They're going to have to run the gauntlet, Chad. Seven seconds here on this incendiary. They have to oh, wait no. and run through. This is going to be desperate. Valda's still up high. And oh, the flashbang time. He's actually a little bit awkward. They can't plant. They can't, they can't plant. plant. Oh, they oh, can't. They can't. Oh, it's down. It's going down. It's on. It's Whoa. Oh, my God. I didn't think there was a world that oh was going my. down. That was as close as you like, but that's why we love Counter-Strike so much. Chris J, we talk about his high impact, Chad. Three kills. I'm actually going to hit A right now. So, Smoke's over towards the A site. Issa has to deliver something special. Let's see what he can do. The MBK with that for masses. Looking good for the double, but Chris J. Oh, he makes very light work of the D. That's a beautiful display. He's looking great out there right now. This third and final map, Chris J coming to life as he gets his 15 kills. More over the next couple of years. The fact that he is a 30 year old individual, but he doesn't play like a, th a massive error from OG, but it's certainly not ideal. Oh, they're going on through, and Alexi B standing behind the smoke gets three of his own. That leaves Valda on the site with Chris J and Woxic to deal with. 15 seconds left on the clock here. If he gets one, call it done. Woxic will be able to trade him here, but the plant, that's the best he can hope for. He doesn't oh. even want that as Mantu takes him down through the gap. And towards CT spawn, Alexi B. Uh -oh. my friend, and that's a guaranteed freebie. He can get the second on Voxic as well. Nice movement. So they know there's the option towards spawn. He actually has transitioned a little bit here as well. They've, got, they've done enough, Chad. Four on two, but the bomb is down. It's difficult to defend with no utility. And trick then, you see him shake towards the position. Maybe he did see him. He seems to be very aware of it. Alexi B gets the shot. Carrigan, four kills required. He pulls this one off. All right, well, there you go. It's there not going to happen. Mantu. Oh, this is a brave pick. He's been all oh, very brave today. And oh! it's all been Four to the MP7. It's not enough damage to take him down, but this is where the orb comes under scrutiny. It's going to have to be a great shot from Mantu. Robs will absolutely wipe him out. It looks like we might be done here. Valda and Alexi B, both of the B players, Chad. I don't think there's anything left to be said. I think we oh. all know what's about to happen. Well, here we go. Alexi, you saved for this AWP, mate. You could be an absolute genius here. Retaking the A-bomb site, left? having to make it through library and the arch side here. Mouseports, they're on. locked and loaded. They're ready and raring to go. Frozen, he's stand standing poised on the arch side. He spotted the barrel. The AWP, it's going to fall. Alexi's out oh. of the picture and Frozen, he's done it. Mouseports, they're going to the grand final. Navi await. Amazing scenes, a fantastic series. MR12 delivered.